the European summit in Prague was not about moving closer to Europe. To discuss this further, we're now joined by the chairman of the European Research Group, Mark Francois MP. Mark, thank you very much for, for joining us. The European political community, should uh, Brexiteers be worried about this potential creep back towards EU membership by the back door? I don't think so, uh, Phil. I mean, this is, it's basically a talking shop. Um, and uh, there were some useful discussions yesterday uh, uh, in the margins of it about things like support for Ukraine and energy security uh, going through the winter. So, you know, something uh, beneficial came out of it. But um, we have to understand what Macron's long term agenda is, which is completely different from ours and from the prime minister's. Um, there was this, if you remember, this famous thing, is he friend or foe? Well, I've got another F for him. He's a federalist. He's always believed, and he's been consistent about it, in a federal Europe. So he called not long ago for a new intergovernmental conference which is what the EU does when it wants to revise or bring in new treaties. And he and some people in Berlin uh, want to create a new European treaty in which all national vetoes would be abolished so that all the key decisions would be taken by qualified majority voting. And in that EU, which would be very close to a federal state, France and Germany would dominate the organisation. So that's what Macron wants. That is not what we want. And people like you and Esther and I didn't fight that struggle for all those years to uphold the uh, result of the referendum to leave the European Union, only to rejoin it by some other means. So it might be what he wants, but it's absolutely not what we want. It might be, I'm sure you're right, that Liz Truss wouldn't allow this to uh, get us back into the EU by the back door. But do you worry that a future government may use this mechanism to do just that? So it can say we're not rejoining the EU, but just by a, on an incremental basis, get closer and closer again to the EU through something which is called the European political community? Well, I think those who want us to rejoin the EU would try and do it by grandmother's footsteps. I don't think they try and do it all in one go, Phil, because they know that they lost the referendum. So there is a risk that a future Labour government would try and take us back in. I've always believed that Keir Starmer remains a Remainer. You and I and Esther will remember very well all those debates in the House of Commons night after night, month after month, where Starmer, as the Labour Party's spokesman on all this, basically connived with the arch-Europhiles in Parliament to do everything they could to stop us leaving the European Union, despite the democratic decision of the British people. You know, you, we saw that night after night. We saw what the guy really believed. So Mark. people should be under no illusion Starmer would take us back in given half a chance. Mark, would do you think this could be helpful in any way, this new grouping, maybe with the Northern Ireland Protocol? Well, at the moment, it's a discussion group. And as I say, you could argue that there were some positive things that came out of it yesterday. But I believe Macron wants to use this to try and create a federal Europe. And as long as we're alert to that risk, I don't think we're going to fall for it. But I also think, quite sincerely, that the British people need to remain very alert to a Labour government that I believe, and many others believe, would try and take us back into the EU, given half a chance. The negotiations on the protocol are, are ongoing. Steve Baker is leading for us on those. He's a former chairman of the ERG. Steve understands very well what all of the issues are. So... I think, providing we remain clear-eyed about this, and we know what Macron's up to, we have not too much to fear. What I do think we have to worry about is what a Labour government would do. And as I say, we saw where Starmer's heart lies in all those debates in Parliament. Keir Starmer remains a Remainer.